My name is Julius Ahn, and I'm singing the role of Monastatos. My character is the head slave. We must be silent, silent, he is in charge of security silent, in the temple. the temple. He is somebody who is very primal. He's in a place where everyone is celibate and everyone is pure and holy and he wants to feel all these things, as he will say in the show, feel divine. But he can't have that. And he sees Pamina, who is this beautiful princess that has been transplanted to the temple. He moves the story along. But I can hear a distant... Especially for this type of character who has a lot of comic uh, moments and a lot of movement and, you know, fast monologue and dialogue. Moon, you dare to play the spy. The scenes by Pamina, she's the good lead soprano in the show, contrasted by the Queen of the Night. Who exemplifies the, the bad or the villain. It'll be very funny and, you know, very touching at times. My goal is to make the audience actually feel for this character because I think they'll understand what he wants and what his needs are. I've always loved music. Um, I grew up with parents who were musicians. My parents and my relatives um, kept me away from it. You know, I pursued other things. I was an athlete um, and then I fell into law. As I always said, opera found me. You know, I didn't find opera. I didn't know anything about opera. My mother and her sisters, they were all classically trained. My grandmother was an award-winning soprano. And my father, who was a songwriter, definitely is a musical prodigy. He had written some very famous pop songs in Korea. At a suggestion of a friend, I sang for Hanwoo Symphony Chorus. And one of the chorus members heard my voice, apparently, and he asked me to come sing on the recording. After the recordings were done, he said to quote him, Moron, what are you doing? You need to sing opera. And then I just came full circle, and now I'm a musician. Michigan Opera Theater feels like one of my home companies. It's a wonderful company with wonderful people. David DiChiara is a hero of mine. Um, you know, I think he's responsible for so much of the culture, not only in Detroit, but um, definitely transcending opera in the United States. Anybody seeing opera for the first time, Magic Flute um, would be one of the operas that I would recommend. <laughs>